Hey guys, this is Steve Huff from Steve Huff Photo, and today I want to take a look and show you guys a really, really cool camera bag. This is a bag that allows you to carry either a DSLR with a lens attached or a, a mirrorless camera with a couple lenses. And today we're going to talk about, and I'm going to share with you my thoughts on the Cozy Speed Streetomatic Plus bag. Hey guys, this is Steve Huff from stevehuffphoto.com. I'm here today with the Cozy Speed Streetomatic Plus holster style camera bag. It's very cool, and if some of you remember, I reviewed the original Cozy Speed Cam Slinger bag a couple of years ago while in Las Vegas. I met the owner of the company, both Debbie and I met him. He was an awesome, awesome, nice guy. We talked about his bags. Now that first Cam Slinger bag wasn't perfect. It had some issues with the way you open the flap, and with a bag that's supposed to be all about speed, and they used to show it like a, a gunslinger, so fast you were able to get your camera out, um, but that old flap for me had a little bit of difficulty opening and closing because you had to squeeze the uh, button here and get it back on. Well, they've improved the bag in many ways, not only in looks and in style, but in functionality. Now on the left side here, we have a pocket, which is perfect um, for accessories, cables, memory cards, even a charger. You could flip a phone in there if you don't have one that's too big. On the other side, we have a zipper pocket where you can store, again, it has another little pocket inside, so you can store your memory cards, um, again, anything that you can fit in here, and that is zipper protected. Now the front has an all new style latch to get the bag open. You basically pull it to the side a little bit and pull it open. And when you close it, the cool thing is, when you close it, it just automatically goes back. You don't have to do anything special. So that's really, really cool. On the back, you have this mesh where it goes against your body and um, it's very comfortable to wear around your waist. Now, a lot of people will say, well, Steve, isn't that a fanny pack? And when they made the first cam slinger, a lot of people said it looked like a fanny pack. Um, I kind of disagree. Now, a lot of people say, well, why do you need a bag to carry one camera in one lens? And I say that myself. I'm like, well, I could just bring my camera, strap it around, and it's no big deal. Well, the Streetomatic Plus, I say, is easier because A, you don't have that weight across your body and shoulder, which if you're out all day, sometimes I go out all day, you really notice it. When I put this around my waist, you know, and it's on me, after a few minutes, you don't even realize you're carrying anything, and that's the God's honest truth. It's pretty cool, uh, the concept of this bag. Um, as far as I know, Cozy Speed was the first to come out with a holster style bag. And no, this is not leather, it's faux leather. You have better construction of the Cozy Speed uh, Streetomatic over the old versions. You have more versatility because it's a little bigger. Um, they say you can fit a DSLR with a lens in here, and the owner of the company uh, sent me some pictures, and I think we published them a while ago. He was using a Hasselblad X1D with a lens attached in here, and it fit. So you have your camera, so again, why carry this when you're just taking one camera? Well, a couple reasons. If you're using a mirrorless, you could fit a couple lenses in here plus your body, um, and you can fit your accessories in the pockets. You know, you can have everything in the bag, your phone, your memory card, your charger, anything you need, and it's all around your waist where you don't feel the weight and pressure. So this bag also, one really good thing is, you can buy the original Cam Slingers for as little as 49 bucks on B&H Photo. This one comes in over 100. I don't remember the exact price. I'll put it up on the screen here, because uh, I'll look it up after I do this. But it's affordable. It's very handsome and it looks great. It's not going to look like you're carrying a purse. There's a lot of guys who don't like to buy some of the bags that look fancy because they look like a purse. And then they cost a fortune to boot. Then you have the bags from, awesome bags from like Think Tank and um, other manufacturers. Tenba makes great bags, but they're all usually traditional bags. So this breaks the mold of that tradition and the Cozy Speed Streetomatic Plus was originally, um, you know, the concept originally came from the owner who wanted it for street photographers, for speed. You can pull out your camera really fast. And once you use this for a couple days, 
you can get access to your camera really, really fast. So I'm gonna put in a, uh, I'm gonna put a camera in here with a lens and I'm gonna attach it so you guys can see what it looks like. And then I'm gonna pull the camera out a couple times and show you how quick and easy it is. And then I'll let you know my thoughts on how it feels. But overall, this is a really great bag. It's starting to get some attention in the photography community as well. Uh, about a couple months ago, I went up to Tucson, Arizona, and I met up with the beers, brews, and camera guys on Instagram. If you haven't seen them, check out Instagram, uh, brews and cameras, beers and cameras, and it's this group, and they started in San Diego, and uh, the one I went to was in Tucson because they're branching out all over, and they're using the Cam Slinger uh, Streetomatic bags now, and they absolutely love them. So it's really cool to see these getting some attention, the attention they deserve, because it really is an affordable, attractive, and very useful bag. So let's see what it looks like when on. All right, so say you wanna get your camera out. Say you've been walking around with it and you have the, uh, this little rubberized latch on. I would leave that off if I'm using the camera. When you wanna use your camera, you can't just pull this open, so it's pretty secure. You have to slide that over and lift up. So if you're walking around, you just kind of slide it up, get your hand in there, and you pull out your camera. Now here I have uh, an Olympus EM1 Mark II with a 25-1-2 and the lens hood. So it's not a tiny combo, but it fits perfectly in the bag this way. So let me take this off and show you how it fits in there. Um, also, one thing to note, uh, I don't want to show my belly. Um, we squeeze these here. It's not just going to come off if you squeeze it. So it's not like someone can come and just yank this off. You squeeze and you push this button that will unlock it. So let's take a look inside. Now I don't have any of the dividers on. It comes with dividers. But as you can see, the camera sits perfectly in there. So an EM1 Mark II with a 25-1-2 and lens hood fits perfectly. Now you're not going to fit a gigantic DSLR with a gigantic lens in here, but it will hold um, a nice size camera. Say you want to fit a Leica M in here, throw a couple dividers in, slide your M and a couple lenses, you can have a really nice little setup and carrying it like this is really cool. But let me show you also, if you don't like stuff around your hip, you can carry it around your body holster style. So here's one really cool thing that I like also. Now I prefer to wear it around my waist to avoid any weight across my shoulder. But if you like if you like to wear bags like traditional style, this is a bag you can wear um, around your waist or holster style across your body. And it works just as well. You can set it wherever you need to set it. Now this doesn't really fit against your body perfectly. Um, so I think it's more or less meant to fit around your waist, and that's how I would recommend using the Streetomatic Plus. But for those who prefer around your body, you can do that. You have full adjustability with the straps, it's very quick and easy, and the materials, the workmanship is all beautiful. It's even a little bit weatherproof. Um, it's not like weather sealed, it's, it's a bag, but it does have inside the flaps to protect from a little bit of rain coming in and, and getting your bag wet. And as you just heard, it just latched itself. You put that up and you're totally secure. So for $129, um, I, I'm used to looking at bags that are three, four, five, six, even $800. And they're more built for fashion, for high-end cameras, for people with fat wallets, um, which these days is definitely not me. So I'm interested in looking at bags like this that are functional, attractive, I would say even beautiful uh, in many ways, and something that you can wear around your waist that's not going to kill your back or shoulder, or if you wanna wear it like this, you can. Another bonus, I have it in my pocket, check this out. It comes in a, uh, with a little baggie, and inside is your raincoat for the bag. Now, there's a lot of bags that come with rain shields, but this one's really cool. It's like a little hat. So you put it over the bag, and let's put it over. I've never used it. So let's put it on the bag and see what it's like and how easy it is to put on. Now, of course, I'm in a weird situation here because I'm standing up, which would make it even more challenging. But let's put this raincoat on. Look at that. Look at that works perfect. 
So it basically covers the front and the top, everywhere there's an opening on your bag. So you can still wear this, that's pretty cool actually, wear that with the raincoat on and then if it stops raining, you're like, oh, I'll take the raincoat off. And there you go, and then you can put it back in the little envelope. So the Cozy Speed Streetomatic Plus is a great bag. Um, I have it all kind of warped around right now. Here we go. Um, it looks good. The materials and workmanship is fantastic. If you want a holster style bag, this is it guys. This is the one to get. I love Cozy Speed. I love what they're all about. I, the owner is fantastic. He's a wonderful man. And um, I highly recommend uh, the Cozy Speed line of holster bags. So you can check it out at the links below. I'll put links directly to B&H Photo where you can buy it, as well as Cozy Speed's main website. But that's about it for today, guys. I thank you, and thanks for watching this uh, bag review. If you like this video, thumbs up and subscribe. I am pumping up the videos on this channel, so there are going to be many more to come. Thank you.